this being the one of my favorite outfits I put together lately. It's like a fun way to take on the trends while still being able to wear it to the office. Pinterest girlies would definitely approve this. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Today we have a how to style fall slash winter trends. This is going to be a take on my last trends video, but this is how I would personally style it with some of the items in my closet. I'm going to incorporate some new winter trends that I didn't talk about in that video as well. So all the outfits are going to be linked down below. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Let's go ahead and get started. First trend that I want to talk about is slouchy bags. This one here is from Bottega. It's one of my favorite new bags and I feel like I didn't really get the chance to wear it enough last year. It's actually a deep chocolate brown color and this is perfect for this time of year. I've been seeing a lot of people wear this like cherry red color and I personally don't have a lot of red so I feel like this kind of rich chocolate brown is a fun way to incorporate that style without having to shop which I always love that. This outfit I wanted to do something more office wear appropriate especially if you are a corporate girly or you work in an office job and you still want to be trendy and instant Style. This is like a fun way to take on the trends while still being able to wear it to the office. I love the oversized blazer here and I feel like the pants with a tighter top just really help to add a little bit of balance to the outfit. I love a good pointed toe and these ones are actually very comfortable so I could wear these out and about. It's great for a date night, going out outfit while still looking really high end and fashionable. Another great thing about these heels too is I actually thrifted them and it's a dark brown with a black color so all the colors in the outfit just go together really really nicely. This is the closest thing to red that I have in my closet and I do have these red New Balances that I love. I love the cherry red trend but I don't necessarily think that you need to shop or spend money to be able to participate. I feel like off the shoulder tops are also really trending for winters. This purse is actually something that I picked up last year and I honestly haven't worn it enough but it's a little like limited edition Chanel that has these little casino chips in them. I think it was like a Monte Carlo edition. I feel like for the cherry red trend too. I've seen a lot of girls wear cute sweaters. I think it's a really fun way to style. There's also a lot of red sneakers that I really like. I'm adding cherry red sunglasses to my Christmas wish list, especially if you're more of a neutral girly like me, having that fun pop of color really spices up an outfit. Okay, I originally had a little gray mini skirt with this outfit, but I feel like jeans look better because of how long the trench is. And typically I wear this when it's rainy or kind of cold outside. So it felt kind of silly to be wearing such a short little mini skirt. So I like the look of these jeans a lot better. These are actually vintage Levi's that I stole from Brandon's closet. A lot of times you can thrift some really good men's denim as well. I love how the colors go together and it's really unexpected because we have like gray tones brown and then I just think a black bag really ties in all of the colors especially if you're experimenting more with your style and you want to get away from wearing like all black or all one color this is a great way to tie in more than three colors is to tie in like your shoes with your bag the tiktok girlies call it the sandwich method the shoes I'm wearing are sambas which is like the main trendy thing that I wanted to style with this outfit I love the shoes I'm really glad I got the black color and they are really comfortable so if you are trying to get into the sneaker trend and learning how to wear them. Sambas are great because they're flat, they're comfortable, they go with a lot of different things. I think the white colorway is really cute as well. I love a good trench coat for the winter so I feel like I had to style that. The bag I'm wearing is my little Polen bag and I feel like handbags do play a big part in completing an outfit. I also did this thing with my sweater which I do a lot. I tucked it into my little bra so if you want kind of like that cropped, almost looked tucked effect without having to deal with actually tucking it. Okay, this next outfit, I personally would totally wear Sambas to the office on a more like casual day. When I worked a corporate job, every Friday was a casual day. So you could even like do jeans with something like this, or if you wanted something more appropriate, you could always swap the shoes for like flats or pointy heels or something like that. But this is just a classic outfit recipe. The colors all go together really nicely. This is actually the same off the shoulder sweater and I just pulled it up a little bit so I can wear it with the trench coat. I love mixing browns and grays. I personally think the mix just makes the look a lot more interesting and very fashion forward, especially if you want to wear sneakers or if you have a trench coat like this that you've been wanting to wear to the office. I think this is something that is very appropriate. You can see Brooklyn's little head popping up. She's taking a little nap. But I love this outfit. This being the one of my favorite outfits that I put 
put together lately. I mainly wanted to style these like moto boots I've been seeing girls wear with like longer jorts. And I think they're so cute. I love the length of them because it's great for so many different seasons when it gets warmer. I just got this leather jacket from and other stories and I love that it's kind of like a chunky moto jacket but it's cropped. So I feel like adding a little mini skirt kind of makes the outfit a little bit more girly and unexpected just so we're not going so hard on like the moto trend. I also talked about leather jackets as a big trend for the season and these are such easily thriftable things. I don't think you need to go out and buy a new jacket. I will link this one direct. I do really like it and it really helps to elevate this outfit. I'm definitely gonna wear this out. These boots are from Schutz. I would definitely size down a lot of the boots that I have that I love from Schutz. I highly recommend. Okay, this next outfit, I've been seeing a lot of girlies on Pinterest kind of pair a little micro skirt with some boots and I love the way that it looks. These boots are also from Schutz. I love them. It is a chunk heel so these are actually really comfortable. It's a dark brown that actually goes perfectly with my Bottega bag so I've worn these two together many times but this is just kind of a fun take on the little micro skirt trend. You can also swap the crop jacket for like a chunkier knit sweater and you kind of have like a fun little contrast between the mini skirt. I talked about it in my trends video but I love when you have like a little pop of leg showing. I just feel like it looks so sexy but chic at the same time. This denim jacket, I get a lot of questions about it. I picked it up from this boutique while we were traveling so I don't know if I can find similar but if you have a denim jacket you can actually button like the last button on the bottom behind you and it'll kind of give you a very similar look but I love that it has these big billowy balloon sleeves as well I just think it's a really nice contrast between what little fabric we have here but this is a great way to style knee-high boots as well Pinterest girlies would definitely approve this this outfit I feel like I need to go into like an expensive furniture store and go shopping just for fun I think we forget sometimes that sunglasses are an expensive accessory that can really add to an outfit. These ones are from Vela. I love them. I believe they're having a really good Black Friday sale, but these are great because it really ties in the tones of the outfits and I really want to style these clogs. These ones are from this brand called Sophie Dior and I got them on clearance. Birkenstocks has some really similar ones that I'll link down below, but the exact ones are not available anymore. I get so many questions about them. This is a great way to style meals in a way that is comfortable and effortless. I like wearing these when and it's a little bit more of a like low-key type of day. This hoodie is one of my favorites. It's from Aritzia. I've had it for so many different years and I'll link it down below because I wear it all the time. It is pretty oversized so I have it tucked into my pants so it looks more intentional with my outfit instead of like frumpy. You could either throw in like a brown bag or a black bag with this outfit but I feel like the brown tones here are just too good to pass up. I wore a very similar outfit the other day to go to a coffee shop and I got so many compliments on the shoes. If you're unsure about how to style these I'll show you another outfit that you can style them next. Okay this is another really good low-key way to wear these mules. I feel like I've seen so many different variations of the same outfit on Pinterest and these sweat shorts I often forget to wear them but it's such a good like lazy errands outfit and I have this vintage crew neck that's really oversized it's one of my favorites I feel like the way that it just kind of drapes over the shorts makes it look really cool and part of like the effortless look I always wear these meals with high socks I'll go ahead and link some of my favorite socks down below but I feel like this look is just a lot of what I've been reaching for lately and then quickly swapping out the meals for my Uggs I feel like I would just wear something like this out walking Brooklyn or something like that the black cap and the purse really help to tie in the shoe it's a really good versatile outfit recipe. My Uggs also have this rain cover on them and I got these last year for Christmas and they're honestly the best thing ever because it makes them rainproof. So if you're an Ugg wearer, highly recommend those. Next outfit, I wanted to play with a lot of the layering and mixing and matching. I talked about leather jackets and this is why I will forever be an oversized blazer girly. Because this blazer is so oversized, I can layer a whole ass leather jacket underneath it. You could do hoodies underneath. I could even throw my trench on top. Something like this is perfect if you're traveling, if it's a really cold day and you just want an outfit that's a little bit different. I personally don't have a bunch of like heavy, heavy weight coats so something like this is really great for a cold day but you still look very fashionable. Also forgot to mention these jeans are from A. Goldie. They're some of my favorite jeans that I picked up recently. It's baggy but it doesn't look frumpy and the wash is perfect. I'll link these jeans down below but they're some of my favorite. I love the way that the layered look looks and I feel like adding a little color 
colored bag kind of just makes it like a fun little pop so that brings us to the end of this video it's currently like 80 degrees today in LA so I'm sweating I'm taking breaks between all the outfits so I hope you guys enjoyed all the looks I had a lot of fun putting these outfits together and if you guys missed my trends video I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner but if you enjoyed videos like this make sure to thumbs up subscribe it really helps me out so much I'm trying to be better about YouTube especially now that we're in our new house and I do have a little get ready with me on this makeup look if you're interested we talk about some tea answering a lot of your questions about Brandon and our relationship so make sure you watch that video if you haven't yet but anyways thank you guys so much for watching Brooklyn's ready to go she's woken up so anyways I'll see you guys in the next video bye